Hello everyone. This video demonstrates how to set up and test Sorte, simple open real-time Ethernet protocol master and slave implementation on the programmable real-time unit and industrial communication subsystem. Sorte functionality is supported on processor software development kits for RTOS, also known as processor SDK RTOS. Starting with processor SDK 4.0 release, Sorte protocol for master and slave devices is supported on TI Sitar processor families listed in the table above on various industrial EVMs. We will be using Pure UI CSS for this demonstration using the AM335X ICE EVM. Before we demonstrate Sorte protocol, we will provide a brief overview of Sorte and its state machine. We will also give an overview of the application running on the ARM processor. We will then discuss the hardware and setup requirements for the Sorte demonstration. Next, we will discuss the required software and show how to build the ARM application. Then we will load the sort of applications to the hardware and run the applications. We will verify functionality. Finally, we will show how the sorted code is organized and how to make changes to the firmware source code and how to recompile the firmware. Let's start with the Sorte overview. The Sorte protocol is a fast and efficient real-time Ethernet protocol which is implemented on the programmable real-time unit and industrial communication subsystem found on many TI application processors. The protocol consists of one master and multiple slave devices in a line topology. We can achieve a 4 microsecond cycle time for exchanging process data with the master and up to 4 slave devices. The protocol is 100 megabit Ethernet and it's full duplex. The benefits are that it removes any external ASIC or FPGA because you integrate the industrial Ethernet into the application processor. We have training and program examples for the real-time Ethernet on PeerU ICSS. That means for you, it's fully customizable PeerU firmware. You are getting the PeerU firmware and source code. And there is a reference PeerU firmware with a user guide, PeerU firmware itself, and ARM driver software. Now let's discuss the Sorte protocol state machine. The Sorte protocol operates on different states which are shown above. We have the discovery state, the parameterization state, the synchronization state, and the IO exchange state. In addition, we have an alarm, link loss, and reconnect state. So now let's take a look at each of these states in a bit more detail. During discovery state, the master is detecting the slaves, and the slaves report the I.O. structure. In parameterization state, the master is distributing the network parameters, the application parameters, as well as diagnostic and error parameters to the slave devices. After that, master and slave devices transition to the synchronization state. In this state, the master and the slave devices both report line delay measurements, they do a network time synchronization, and they report this to each other. The master and slave devices then enter IO exchange state where the devices can exchange data. This is the four microsecond cycle time where you have cyclic IO data exchange between the slave devices and the master. You also continue the cyclic time synchronization and the master is continuously monitoring the network. When there is a problem detected by the master or by the slave, then the protocol goes into the alarm and link loss state or reconnect state. So for example, if there are a lot of packet errors or if there's a timing error or if there's a topology change error, then it's getting reported. And the state machine goes back to the discovery state to restart the training. Now let's briefly discuss the responsibilities of the master and sleeve applications running on the ARM processor. The applications are responsible for Board level initialization. Initialization of the Pure UI CSS subsystem, which includes clearing Pure UI CSS shared memory and Pure U0, Pure U1 data RAM memory, configuration of Pure UI CSS registers, and initialization of 8 bit CRC table. Initialization of Pure U shared memory with Pure UI CSS PHY addresses and enabling MDIO link interrupts for Pure UI CSS PHYs. Downloading protocol firmware. Displaying status information via the board UART console. 
Now let's take a look at the hardware requirements and setup. For this demonstration, we will be using 3AM335X Industrial Communication Engine Evaluation Modules, which feature the Citara AM335X processor with an ARM A8 core. We will be using the Peer UICSS ports for this demonstration. To enable these ports, connect pin 2 and pin 3 of both jumpers J18 and J19 on each board. Connect an Ethernet cable from Masters RJ45 J2 Peer UICSS port to the Slade Device 1 RJ45 J2 Peer UICSS port. Then connect an Ethernet cable from the Slade Device 1 RJ45 J1 Peer UICSS port to Slave Device 2 RJ45 J2 Peer UICSS port. Now let's take a look at the software requirements. Processor SDK RTOS includes source code for both Sorte Master and Slave protocol firmware as well as Sorte Master and Slave ARM applications. You can test Sorte using SBL or CCS. For this demonstration, we will be using CCS. To run the applications, download and install Processor SDK RTOS with all the required components. Make file infrastructure is provided to build both Sorte ST protocol firmware and ARM applications. For purposes of this demonstration, it is assumed that CCS and Processor SDK are already installed on the host. For further details about CCS and Processor SDK RTOS, please refer to the more information's link at the end of this video. For additional details of how to build the Sorte firmware and ARM example, please refer to the PeerU SS Sorte Developer's Guide. Next, we will build the ARM application for master and slave. The Sorte firmware binaries are pre-compiled and provided as part of the Processor SDK release. After installing Processor SDK RTOS and all of the required components, Navigate to the installation directory. Run the setup environment script pdk setup env.bat to set up the build environment. CD to the peer USS directory. Once in the peer USS directory, execute the following command gmake apps. This will build the ARM applications for both master and slave and the following output binaries will be created. As previously mentioned, master and slave firmware binaries are pre-compiled and provided as part of the processor SDK RTOS release. We will discuss the location of the firmware sources and binaries in subsequent slides. Next, we will run the Sorte applications we just created for master and slave. Using CCS, launch a target configuration for the ICE V2AM335X boards. First connect to the first A8 core, which is slave device 1. Ensure the gel files are loaded onto the core. Navigate to the location of the slave application and load it onto the A8 core. Now connect to the second A8 core, which is slave device 2. Once again, ensure the gel files are loaded onto the core. Load the slave application onto the A8 core. Finally, connect to the third A8 core, which is the master device. Once again, ensure the gel files are loaded onto the core. Navigate to the location of the master application and load it onto the A8 core. Once all cores are loaded, hit resume to run the application on slave one, then slave two, and finally master. Next, we will verify functionality. We will use the UART console available on each board to verify the communication path between the master and slave devices. Once the application starts to run the master, you will see via the UART console that the master is waiting detection of two slave devices. Once the application starts to run the slave devices, you will also see via the UART console that each slave reports it has not received any packets. The master will then report that it is now connected to two slave devices. At this time, each slave device will start reporting the number of packets it has received. The slave device will continue to report the number of packets received 
until a pass criteria for the demo is reached. At that time, the slave devices will each report an all tests have passed message. Visual inspection of the Ethernet port LEDs will also indicate that even though the application test is finished, the map pasture and the slave devices are still in the IO exchange state. The LED will be solid green indicating ongoing cyclic IO packet exchange. Let's take a look at where to find the sortie code in processor SDK RTOS release. Sortie is delivered as a pure USS driver example and can be found in the example apps sortie folder. There is a top level readme which provides high level overview of the protocol and directory layout. Under the top level firmware directory you will find the following. The bin directory contains pre-compiled sortie protocol firmware binaries for both master and slave. The source directory contains an include directory for all common header files for both master and slave. The source directory also contains subdirectories for both master and slave firmware source files. There is also a readme.txt for master and slave, which provides a high level overview of the firmware sources as well as state machine. The top level master directory contains the makefile for the master application running on the ARM. The top level slave directory contains the makefile for the slave application running on the ARM. The top level source directory contains the Sorte ARM application source files and build related files. Now that we have covered how the Sorte code is organized, let's talk about modifying the Sorte firmware and recompiling it. We will illustrate this using the Sorte slave. Let's once again navigate to the installation directory and run the setup env script in case you are working with a new command window. Let's now navigate to the directory where the slave source files reside. Let's open up the readme which lists each file along with a B description that is used to compile the slave firmware. Let's assume you wanted to make updates to the state machine in particular to how the discovery state is implemented or updates to the event handler to suit your protocol needs. You would just need to update the files and recompile the firmware. We will need to navigate to the build directory and do a make firm clean to clean out any existing build, followed by a make firm. This concludes the demonstration for Sorte Master and Slave using Processor SDK RTOS. Additional information is provided here for reference. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration. If you have any questions, please post them on the Texas Instruments E2E forum at e2e.ti.com.